Hi there, Creative Tatanites. Thank you for joining me. Hi, Mona. Thank you for coming along to be my um, my moderator, as always. Um, I see you're saying uh, that you love um, my photos. How fun that it keeps changing. You're on a roll with them thumbnails. <laughs> yes, I, I couldn't quite make up my mind. Um, the, the theme of this uh, video is about getting out of our comfort zone. Um, and uh, the, um, the, the the theme of November's challenge is, um, oh, hi there, Joey. Hi. <laughs> Thank you for joining me today. Um, the theme of our challenge, as you know, is um, taking a selfie. And um, I know that not everybody is comfortable with that. And so... I had, they had the thought of a fan, so hence that. And then I thought, well, actually, this is about getting out of our comfort zone, so I was doing that. Um, and then it didn't really translate particularly well. It translated okay in my head, but I wasn't sure if it translated on the thumbnail. This is why the thumbnails changed. So I, I'm glad you appreciated that, Phil Mona. So um, I'm really going to, to try and just get stuck in. Good morning, Beth. Hello. <laughs> I hope you're having a really good morning. It is 10 to um, 4. Oh, hello, Fancy Nancy. Hi there. I hope you're having a good morning too. Hi, Nikki. Hi. Lovely to see you guys. Um, I know I'm kind of a little late in wearing this, but it's one of my favourite t-shirts. Um, I love Snoopy and um, I don't care that October is over with. Um, we we kind of, um, October and Halloween just, you blink and it's gone. So um, I'm, I'm, I'm wearing my uh, Snoopy t-shirt <laughs> and it's November. But hey, <laughs> I can get to because I'm an adult. <laughs> so how are you guys all doing? I'm going to um, kind of start grabbing a, a few um, pieces, uh, bits and bobs, uh, because I want to get started. Of course, as per usual, I thought I was organised and then realised I didn't have this out. Um, oh, hello, Rachel. Yes, I'm going um, a little early today. Um, in all honesty, um, I've been really feeling, oh, hi, Laura. Hi. I've been really feeling a little bit out of sorts and, and a bit kind of um, just a bit bleh. And I, I think everybody's kind of had those days, those weeks, um, you know, where, where maybe you are feeling a bit, you know, just can't be bothered, really really need to kind of get into the zone and you're not in the zone and you get a little bit frustrated. So um, I don't know if you guys follow me on Instagram, but um, I did post on Instagram that I'd taken a little break away from painting and I've been crocheting. Um, so uh, today's live is the first day that I'm going to be going pain, be doing painting since probably about um, the last time I went live and did um, the Snow White um, ATC card. Excuse me. Oh, Oliver's being a grand helper today. That's fantastic. Hi, Oliver. Love you loads. Um, so I'm going to do a, a painting. And I thought I thought you might appreciate me um, sort of really kind of using the challenge as a, an excuse to paint. Um, so I'm probably a bit rusty today, but that's actually OK, because this is about getting out of our comfort zone. Hi, Chrissy. Hi. Um, so what I'm going to start with, excuse me, I had um, some peanuts just before I came on and I didn't realise that I still got a little bit of peanut stuck in my, my teeth there. I think I've got rid of it. Um, right. I have uh, this contraption, which is my iPad in um, a kind of mini tripod. So what I thought I would do um, is kind of, I know it's kind of off, it's not showing my face particularly well, um, but let's see if I can 
get this um, in a way that is actually going to allow you to see what I'm doing, but me to be able to see what I'm doing as well. So this is about taking a selfie, this part. Um, and I know that not everybody likes um, to have uh, their selfie taken or take their selfie. Um, other people really enjoy it. Um, I, I hate getting my photograph taken. I just want to point this out. Um, I really, this is me getting out of my comfort zone. I really dislike um, intensely taking, you know, having my photograph taken. Um, really don't like it at all or whatsoever. Um, so I'm much more comfortable doing sort of fun things, um, you know, out of the ordinary things. Um, I'd rather look silly in a photograph because um, that's just, that's me. Um, I really don't like uh, getting my photograph taken. So what I'm doing is I'm just setting up my camera. Um, there you can see um, setting up the camera. So I'm going to turn it to selfie mode. So you can see that's it now in selfie mode. So we've got the infinity, the going, the photo, and the photo, and the photo, and the photo. Um, so, um, <laughs> Mona says, I hate taking selfie without Snapchat. <laughs> I love the filters. Yes, I think most of us do. Um, so, uh, I have a little prop because I thought it might be fun to, to try this. I'm going to take my glasses off for this um, because I, I don't know. I mean, whilst, yes, the glasses are part of me and they can be fun, um, I, I think they, they kind of lose um, lose that kind of sense of, of self because you can't really see my eyes properly. Um, so I'm going to um, attempt to take a selfie now. So let me see if I can do this right. Um, Okay, right. I've taken um, a few photos there. So let me get the, the photos up. Uh, let me get. No. Okay, this is, maybe I'm a bit too close to the camera, um, but this is my favourite one. Oh, wrong direction. I'm looking at the camera. That kind of looks like I'm trying to stick the fan up my nose. Oh, that was me practising earlier on. <laughs> So I don't know, maybe oh, maybe I'm needing to not have the fan up quite so high. Um, or maybe I'm a bit too close. I don't know. But I'm going to I'm going to try again. Turn the camera around. And this time I'm going to have the camera a little bit further away from me. Oop. See, the problem with this is reaching out. Um, it does kind of skew the... Okay, right, I've taken a few more. Let's see, let's see, let's see, let's see, let's see. Let's get into the photos. Uh, 
okay still again it's it's really it's not i i emphasize i empathize with anybody taking selfies because i'm really not very good at it as you can probably see <laughs> so hi angie hi there uh, Laura says, I wouldn't be able to see the button without my glasses. <laughs> yeah, I kind of guess where the button is. Um, so there's there's a few more. So I'm still thinking this one's probably the best one. What's what's your what's your thoughts? Nikki says, turn on the timer. Yes, that is a very good um, suggestion. Um, and I would if I knew how to on the um, the iPad. Let me see if I can figure that out anyway. Um, do you know how to turn on the, uh, the timer on the iPad? I know how to do it on my camera. The one where you look up. Okay. This one. Um, Angie says, I take about 30 before I get one I like. Yes, I am I really don't like getting my, my photograph taken at all. And I hate taking selfies because I always look so serious in them. Um, see, I'm not, the reason I'm not liking this one is I'm not happy with where the fan's actually sitting. Top bar, the second from the right, and the circle with the clock hand. Okay. See, I'm, I'm liking this one best. I'm not really liking where the fan is and and just the, the angle of my face is not really quite right, I don't think. And where my nose, it's, it's there, but it's not there. It's, it's, it's a bit awkward. Um, I mean, I guess I could change it as I'm painting it. Um, selfies are tough early for dreams. Yes, they are. They are. So I think, hi, Helen. Hi there. Um, just thinking of, thinking about having a glass of wine, are you? <laughs> no, you haven't missed too much. You've you've really just seen me messing about with my iPad. I've just been taking some selfies. Um, today is about helping people to get out of their comfort zone. Um, I'm certainly coming out of my comfort zone by taking selfies. Um, I really don't like them, uh, but um, I'm doing them anyway um, because I'm going to show uh, that even with um, a selfie that you don't particularly like, you can actually um, produce some really nice art. So with that being in mind, I'm actually going to choose, um, I'm going to choose the one that I don't like. That's exactly what I'm going to do. I'm going to go out of my comfort zone because that is what this is all about. The overarching theme of this video is encouraging people to go out of their comfort zone and just have some fun. So I'm going to um, choose this one. Uh, and I am going to see if I can still print this off. Um, there we go. Right. No. There. Let's see if that's going to work. I can hear something going. Um, so hopefully that's it working. While the printer's going, um, 
I've got my palette ready. Um, again, it's um, baking parchment um, over the top of some kitchen paper. Uh, and that's been wet. And so that is my stay wet palette. I've got my tape at the ready. Uh, I'm going to use this board. You can see it's well used. Lots of um, paintings have been on this board. And I'm going to grab some paper. Now, I've got this paper here. This is um, Galleria acrylic um, pad. And it is bigger than an A4. It is 14 by 10. Now the chances, I will warn you now, the chances are I pro will probably not likely to finish this um, painting at all. Um, but I will certainly do as much as I can and show you. Now, the, the re this is not the size I had hoped it would come out. I hoped it would come out A4. Um, but this is what happens when you wing it. Um, I completely forgot that when I print from the iPad, it comes out this size. But I'll, I'll use this as reference anyway. Um, I will probably stick it to the board. Now, I've got, as I say, my paper. Um, you can see close up that that is, it looks, it has a kind of texture to it. So it looks a little bit like canvas. Um, so I'm just having a quick check. Uh, I have really silly selfies. Would that work? You can use absolutely any selfies, any selfies at all. In fact, you don't even have to use a selfie. Um, you can, you know, if you really can't, doesn't, don't like selfies, then ask someone to take a photograph of you. Um, but it's about getting out of our comfort zone. Um, So um, any selfie is okay, Laurie-Anne, as long as you have not used any Snapchat or other app. Yeah, it's, it's I mean, it's about not using the filters um, because we're going to add our own filters by um, using our artistic license. Um, so we're going to be creative. Um, right. Just to talk amongst yourselves as I get this. Um, now, what I'm doing is I'm just going to. Uh, now, actually, I'm not moving the camera per se, I'm just going to tilt it down. Oops. There. You can't see it all, um, but you can at least see um, a little part of it. Now, um, so what I'll do is I will stick this to the board. I'll stand up to do this just so that I can see what I'm doing. Trying to be as accurate as I can. So once it's, oops, right. So now that I've got, whoops, now that I've got one side um, taped, I'm going to stick it up on my easel, and I'm going to shove on a light. I'm going to move my chair out of the way. And I'm going to bring my easel round. And I'm going to stick the camera back up there. Okay, so 
Right, I think you guys should be able to see that okay. Just give me a yell if you can't. So there's, there's the paper getting stuck to the board. So you're really, really getting to see exactly from start to finish, just exactly how I do this. So sticking the paper on here. Before I get started, has anybody got any um, questions? Um, okay. Angie says, I need that studio space. <laughs> right. I'm probably right in your way and you probably can't see what I'm doing. I'm trying to make sure that the border around it, so this part here, is kind of at least the same size all the way round. So when I take the tape off, it is not une too uneven. So that is the tape off. Um, now I need to decide whether or not to have it this direction or um, up the other way. Now, considering that I've taken the photograph this direction, so um, landscape rather than portrait, I'm thinking I might just do it this way. So I will do this uh, and stick it probably, yeah, I'll stick it up here. Um, and then that way, you guys should be able to see it a little bit better. Now. Are you guys okay? Can you see okay? Just moving that out of the way. Um, I think what I'll do is I will put this to this side of me. You will be able to see it, but um, I am going to... So I'm not having to keep turning around and looking. Uh, I'm going to... Um, Beth says, true confession, I consider all my own portrait, paintings self-portraits of a sort. Well, do you know what they actually say, Beth, that um, when, you put, when you paint a portrait, you do actually put a little bit of yourself in um, because when you are um, painting a portrait, the one face that you see a lot is your own. And so if you're painting, unless you're specifically look at going for a, a, a realistic and lifelike um, painting, you generally tend to actually get um, your own face in your portraiture. So sorry about this, guys. Um, I'm, I'm just setting this up so I can actually see your... Um, there we go. Uh, and we won't get any feedback. Well, we shouldn't anyway. Uh, I won't get feedback. We did. Sorry, I did have it on silent, but I might have um, just had it on silent. Um, so I'm just going to put that there. Um, so I'm going to put that there. And 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 I'm delayed and it's a bit disconcerting in fact oh that'll help me to be able to see sorry excuse me <laughs> that'll be able to help me to see um whether you guys are seeing or not um because i can see whether you can see but without turning around so that's good um although i have to really not pay too much attention to that i'm going to uh stick my Ugh. There we go. 
I'm going to put my, um, I can't think of the name of it, apron. That's the word I was looking for. Um, so the problem with doing it this way is I'm probably not going to, there's going to be even bigger delay in seeing your, um, uh, sorry. There we are. There's going to be a bigger delay in seeing your messages because on the iPad it's going to be delayed because there's a delay. Right. Okay, that's that. I'm going to grab my Grabbing my um, paints, uh, turn that around. It's my IKEA trolley. I've got my oil paints as well as my acrylic paints um, here. So I'm now going to. Now, can you guys see? Okay, I can. Um, I can move the camera if you want. I can put it on this. Are you guys okay? Um, in fact, you know what? I will. I will move the camera. Um, uh, right. Let's see. There we go. Now, for those who get seasick and dizzy, close your eyes. Now, uh. oh, come on. Sorry guys, it's um there we go. That's better. Right. There we go. So there we go. Right. I think that's much, much better. Um, you can see pretty much all of the, um, reference photo. Ah, sorry. Just moved the camera. Right. Better, much better. I am going to um, start actually with this, which is the um, Lyra graphite water soluble graphite crayon. And the reason that I'm doing this is because I really just want this to be a fun painting. Um, I'm also going to I don't know if I can. Uh, no, nah, it's not going to let me. Um, I wanted to move this up a bit, um, but it's not letting me. Because I'm standing up that kind of, this level is usually, um, actually, if I do that, it's going to move, I have to move the camera, never mind. Just ignore me. I'm just talking to myself now. You see, this is the thing um, with painting and getting set up. These are the kinds of things that I would normally do before I start filming. Um, I actually thought that it would be um, helpful for you to see just exactly um, what I do to set up. Um, right. I'm going to use my number eight um, Sherpa cat's tongue. Um, 
possibly uh, this flat, um, but I don't know because I might not need a flat. This one usually does the um, cat's tongue. Uh, I may swap at some point to the, here we are, I nearly lost it, um, the four, uh, size four. So we'll see, we'll see what happens. We'll see how we go. Uh, right. So, crayon. Um, what's happened? Have I nudged the camera or something? Aha, there. Sorry, guys. Um, I must have nudged the camera and it went down a little bit. Um, so, as I said, um, standing up, a uh, bit awkward because it's slightly lower um, than I'm comfortable with when I'm standing. Uh, I much prefer it at eye level, um, whereas I'm actually looking down uh, to see this. So I'm really just going to be looking um, at, like, for example, there's a really big shape here. Um, so that goes from about here and it kind of goes to about there. So we're talking... We're talking about that kind of that kind of shape, and then that kind of shape. Then we've got a shape here. So we've got the shape comes up here along here and kind of down that way. So we've got the fingers, but we're not calling them fingers because they're shapes. We've got them kind of here. Okay. Then we've also we can also think about maybe mapping in this part here. And I'm really just, as I say, I haven't really done anything like this for ages. So I'm actually not too fast um, about how this is going to really be turning out because it's probably more of a warming up exercise rather than anything else. So in relation to everything else, there's the fan. And then we've got this kind of line here. So that's kind of probably about here. And then we've got this part here. And we can maybe even look at, well, where do the eyes sit? So the eyes are probably sitting about there possibly a bit further up. But they're definitely at that angle. And then there's that kind of triangular part to the nose, really. And the eye is sort of taking up that sort of space and the eyebrow here and the other eyebrow there. The 
So, and then we've got the hair. And as you can see, I've already got that wrong. Because look, look how much space there is between there and there. And look at where it is. So I've actually got that wrong. Um, so the nose is nearer there. That eye is nearer there. And the hair, and I'm going to bring that there. Because, do you know, at the end of the day, it really doesn't matter if it's not quite right, does it? And then we've got this space here. So that's this space. Here. But I'm actually going to ignore this arm. And I think that's probably no. I don't don't think you can see that through there. Um that's actually quite there. So if we look at that, you can see how off that actually is. Um, so I am going to just get some water and I'm going to do that. And take it off. There we go. Because it's off. Whoops. Just chuck my brush away. So you can see how rusty I am. Uh, Right, artistic license. Um, just a reference photo, you can add or take away anything you want. Uh, just, um, no, read that one. Uh, hi, Chrissy, the prof said we always had our model. Chrissy says, brilliant, Tanya, well done, super duper. Um, as I managed to um, completely throw the, the toys out with the pram. So there's, there's this line here, okay? And so that's, that's where the eyes are. Um, so that's too high. That's where the eyes are. Um, that's where the nose is. So there's the eye. There, there's the, okay, that's roughly 
That's better. Right. Right, I'm happier with that. Uh, okay, so there's the the forehead again, and there is the hair. Right, that's a bit better. And as I said, um, I am a little rusty because I haven't done anything for ages. So it really just proves that, you know, one, there's very little that you can't change if you want to. And two, it actually really doesn't matter. Um, we're not about painting to perfection. This is the very first layer of it. Um, I don't think I know any artists who have been able to do a masterpiece directly um, on the first layer when they haven't actually painted or drawn anything for ages. Um, and even if they have, um, you know, generally speaking, people tend not to get things right the very first time anyway. Uh, so you know, it's really that simple. Really is. Let's get away from the idea that we have to get it right the first time. I mean, even those fingers are looking a bit really bizarre. Um, but, you know, once I start painting things, it's going to make a difference. It's going to make a big difference. And that, as they say, is that. Any questions so far? Oh, no, Mona, cough attack. I hope you're all right. I do hope you're all right. So I'm just getting my um, palette ready. I've got my cloth, so I'll stick that on my... Um, Rachel's asking, is that crayon you're using? It's graphite. It is water-soluble graphite crayon. It's by Lyra and it's a 6B. Um, so it is quite, um, it's quite dark. So, um, just getting my paints out. Uh, I'm just grabbing quite a few different colors. Um, I've got ultramarine, I've got burnt umber, I've got Hansa yellow, burnt sienna, titanium white, cadmium red, light, a thalo blue. Now, I tend not to use thalo blue particularly much in portraits because it tends to go a little bit green, um, but that is actually, it doesn't really matter. Okay, so just putting out my colours now. Any questions so far? I think I've asked that already. Um, Angie's being attacked by a cuddly puppy. Oh, bless. I wish I could see said cuddly puppy. That would be lovely. I like puppies. They don't stay puppies for very long, though, do they? Rachel's got a new kitten. And I don't think she's going to stay um, a kitten for very long. Um, right, so I've just put out the cad red. Just putting out the yellow now. Uh, 
putting out the burnt umber. Putting out the ultramarine blue. You don't really need to know this, but it means that you know that I'm actually doing something because um, there's nothing on the screen other than occasionally seeing me going across the, the direction of the camera. And I'm putting out the titanium white. Oh, these are my go-to colours for portraits. Right, okay, so there's my, um, there's my palette. They are my go-to colours, as I said. Um, right. Okay, so um, there's kind of almost like a, a sort of pinky colour in there um, and kind of greyish. So I'm actually going to start with a grey. So I'm going to um, going to do my kind of black with my ultramarine and my burnt umber, and then I'm going to bring in the um, oh the the white. And I'm just going to just going to block in the whole colour. Not really bothering too much about things. Not worried about the detail at this stage. I'm just getting some paint. Oh, that's a, a little bit too brown looking. Get it back looking a bit more grey. So it's really all I'm doing at the moment is just getting some colour down. Um, I'm probably actually blocking your view by doing that. So I'm going to bring me the tree down and just continue to fill in this part. And it is, we say blocking in and it is, it's, it's, you know, it's, we're basically building blocks. This was the big shape at the beginning. So just making sure that that is the first colour that I put in. Okay. So how are we doing, guys? Angie says you're fine. We can see all good. Oh, hello, Sharp. Oh, the art, the art Sharp is here. I'm not worthy. I'm not worthy. <laughs> How did you luck out catching me live? I know. I know. That is so cool. Welcome, Cinnamon. Welcome. I'm showing everybody how to get out of the comfort zone today because I am doing a painting and I haven't done any painting for weeks. And we have just demonstrated um, live me taking my own selfie to use as a reference, um, then showed me uh, messing up um, and how to correct said mess up because art is messy. 
So it's it's been fun. How's your trip? Oh, I've missed you too, Cinnamon. I hope your trip was fantastic. It certainly looked a lot of fun. So there we go, that is that. Now I'm going to take a little bit of red, a little bit of yellow, so I've got kind of orangey colour, a little bit of the um, burnt umber and then loads of the titanium white. Um, and hopefully what this will do, I'll maybe grey it up a little bit, Hopefully what this will do is give me a reasonable, reasonable um, colour for this. That's maybe a bit too much um, yellow now. And I'm just going to block in here. So there we go. And because it's soluble, so yeah, soluble, water soluble, um, you're seeing it become quite dark in places. And the reason I used the crayon um, was really more about just keeping it loose and encouraging me to get out of my own way. Now, there is that bit there as well. So I'm going to just mix a little bit more just to, to be able to actually show on there. Because as I said, this, I'm, I'm actually, I'm just going with a bit of fun, slapping some paint around. I'm really, really not particularly fussed about getting an accurate painting today. Just covering the paper. So I saw a few uh, white bits on the paper canvas showing through, or the canvas paper, should I say, showing through. Um, so I'm just, there. Um, again, I'm kind of sort of noticing some differences. Um, there is actually, do you see how that, that line's going down there? and this one's not. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to mix um, a dark color because it is actually dark and I'm actually going to bring that down like so and that fixes that. There we go. And um, I'm actually just going to do the background dark. Slap it on. <laughs> brilliant, brilliant. Thanks, Cinnamon, for joining me, even just for a short time. So nice for the support. Thank you. So I'm just going to, I'm just going to do what I normally do and just slap it on. In fact, I do have um, a little bit of blue there, so I'm going to keep that blue. So there, I'm going to I'm going to keep that blue. And this is where it becomes a bit of a, a bit of a 
point where people kind of um not suggesting everybody does but this this is the this is the stage where people start to give up because this this they just see a mess um but what i see is just fun and i don't have to care about this painting right now um this painting it's it's just paint it's not i ha it hasn't turned into anything yet um it's just shapes and that is how we get out of our comfort zone we start thinking in a completely different way now you'll see that i'm just um you know it's coming a little bit more burnt umber um and i'm actually running out of paint um so you can see that i'm kind of running out of paint so i'm just picking up the paint that is there and just slapping it on because it's just one layer out of many uh, i'm going to have to give up now because i really have run out of paint and i'm going to have to put some more out so you'll see me going past the um Oh no, you don't. Um, I'm getting the um, burnt umber and the um, the blue again. Oh. There we go. So, <laughs> what other people might see is a mess, um, and it's it's truly not. It really truly isn't. It's just the first underlayer. It's not, um, it's not meant to be the finished product right from the very start. Um, right, Rachel, um, is she maybe not seeing, um, uh, okay. Um, so somebody wants to know how I'm using the papers. Um, yes, <laughs> I hear you. <laughs> Is someone wanting to know how I'm going to incorporate the paint, the papers? Yes, Beth is. Okay. Um, I I haven't decided yet how I'm going to incorporate the paint, the papers. Um, I may just carry on with this painting as is and then scan it or photograph it and then make it smaller and put it into um, an art journal. Um, so that's one way. Um, the other way is I could potentially have turned this painting into um, uh, mixed media, so um, incorporating the paper at the back. Um, but essentially, I'm being inspired by the colours in the painting. Now, the colours in the painting are browns, uh, in the painting, in the papers, rather. Um, in fact, I have... Um, one of the, the papers here. So here's one of the, one of the papers. Um, there's orange and blues and greens and you know, you see, they're really that the color palette is is really reflecting the colors in the paper. So my idea is really to just paint this painting, being inspired by the colours in the papers, and then photograph it or scan it and reduce it in size and put it into a journal. That's, that's my plan. So very similar to what you've already seen me do, um, where uh, I had, um, in fact, they're in here, um, 
if I can quickly grab them. Oh, sorry, I'm right in the way. Right, so something similar to this, uh, where I've reduced in size my paintings and I've put them into a journal page. Um, so Mona says, get out of my head. I'm sorry, Mona, we're just so in tune that I'm, I, I, I just, I can't help it. <laughs> Close up of a t-shirt, yes. It's a very nice t-shirt. <laughs> so hopefully that has, um, that's answered your question. Um, so just getting back to the painting now. Um, I, I'm trying to catch the um, I'm trying to catch the comments at the same time as um, painting. Uh, but as Mona pointed out earlier on, I get engrossed in the painting, um, and um, I forget to look up sometimes. So my apologies. Um, And now I'm at the point where I'm actually not even mixing on the palette anymore. I'm just putting it straight onto the paper because we can do that, because we can do anything we want to. Now, great painting, one of the things that um, makes a great painting is some really good contrasts. Um, so I'm thinking about um, the fact that there's a very dark background uh, and there's light on my face and this is quite light. So that's kind of what I'm, I'm going to play with that. Um, because I like that. I like the fact that um, in fact just adding a little bit of interest into the background there just thought I'd kind of lighten up the the brown and make it a little bit more opaque with the titanium white um, but I'm still keeping it very dark and I'm going to have to put out some more blue. Hold on. This is certainly taking um, a lot of paint, but that's okay. That's okay. I probably should have gessoed it first, um, but nah. I was impatient. I can be impatient sometimes. Uh, so, um, thank you, Mona. Yes, if I do miss any comments, um, please ask in, uh, uh, either ask in the comments or do you know um, what I what I sometimes um, my, I sometimes actually look at the video after the fact and the chat is still there, um, but. The problem with that is I've got no way of actually letting you guys know um, the answer to your questions um, unless I answer them in a second um, video. Uh, so it would be easier if I could, um, you know, have a see a, a comment that I can respond to and reply to. Um, of course, the alternative is, you know, you can actually. Um, A email me if you want, um, if you want to get in touch, or you can hang out with me in the Creative Tap Night Tribe. Um, I'm always there uh, at some point through the day. Um, and you know, interestingly, um, I've noticed that uh, <laughs> my um, response time for my um, actual artist page on Facebook uh, says that it's five hours. Um, but do you know what I find really unfair is that it's because um, when I've had messages, I've had messages from people in the States 
Um, and it's usually when I'm sleeping and I catch them when I wake up. And so, yes, it does take a few hours for me to respond, but that's the reason why. It's because um, we're in different time zones. So I hope uh, that uh, people will understand that and won't hold it against me. So I think we've um, we've established a good background. Still a few bits and pieces where there's some white bits, but that's okay because, as I said, this is just the first layer not necessarily going to stay like that. And interestingly, this is more of a painterly um, in fact, you know, I'm actually going to probably um, use a different blue for this because this is too, I don't know, it's too bright a blue. Um, I might just try going with the phthalo blue and see what happens. Just down at that bottom um, part, just a small amount of phthalo blue and we'll see, um, see what difference that makes. That might be better, actually. Yeah. I'm just going to add a little bit into the background here. Can I, as you can see, there is a little bit of a, an, an orange, uh, an orange, a green tinge to it now. Um, but waste not, what not. Waste not, what not. Right. Uh, oh. I've just re realized there's a bit down here that I really need to to darken. There we go. Ta-da! We're getting there. We're getting there. Right, I'm just going to check for any question. Um, hi, Laura. Thank you for joining me. I really appreciate it. Uh, so Mona says, I'm so glad I'm in the pretty much the same time zone as Tania because um, I'm way uh, off to most of my art friends um, on here. <laughs> yeah, so um, right at this moment in time, uh, I'm in Scotland, so the UK. Um, you might have... Uh, gathered by my accent and it is five o'clock it's five o'clock um in the afternoon so i'm just adding just that little bit extra here i can tidy it up later if i want to um but there we go. That's the kind of uh, the crux of it. So let me have a look at the. OK, so. Yep. Um, that might require. Um, moving it just a little bit. There we go. Yep, I think that's I think that's kind of close enough. Uh, right, so looking at um, the shadows uh, on my face here, 
Um, take a little bit of red and yellow and a bit of burnt umber. That kind of gives me my brownish uh, and there. So definitely got shadow in here. And this is definitely darker there. and definitely darker here and here um we're not as dark oh that's a bit too much we're bit pinker up here and again as I said you know this is this is just the, the first kind of layer and we're definitely much lighter here and then we've got a little bit darker in that part there. I'm just making sure I don't lose my eyebrows uh, there. Now, I'm sure there are other artists that would cringe at the idea of the way I'm painting right now, but this is the way I paint. I'm comfortable with it. So I, that's, that's what happens and it's fine. Absolutely fine. Um, this is definitely lighter here. Um, that's a bit too yellow. Uh, there we go. As I said, it's it's just about slapping some paint down and you can fix it later. So you see, we've kind of sort of got a face already. Sort of. I don't know if I want to change the brush or not because I'm quite enjoying this bigger brush. Um, but I think I might. I think I might, but I'll keep it for the time being. Uh, I'm just doing a, another mix. Uh, to get this it's a little bit too orange but that's fine I'm just just going to use it anyway just to get the paint down and you see how just just not really <sighs> not fixating on the details and not sticking to the same area all the time kind of helps us to to really just get out of our comfort zone and i think that's that's really what we need sometimes it's just getting out of our comfort zone uh, 
that's probably a bit too yellow now. But we've now kind of established a bit of a oops, that's not what I wanted to do. We've now kind of established a little bit of where a sense of where things are going to be. Right, I've now realised I've gone quite silent and concentrating a bit too much. So let's let's go back to what's actually happening in chat. What is happening in chat? Memory's getting shorter when I get older. <laughs> yeah, I can remember so well some things I did as a kid. Isn't that weird? Um, it, it's the way our brains work, apparently. It is simply the way our brains work. That is um, the weird thing. So I'm going in with... a reasonably dark grey. Uh, and I'm going to start thinking about the shadows. That are casting on Might help if I actually had a better grey. So I'm thinking I'm just going to as cinnamon would say, I'm going to talk about the shadows. Um Because it's it's painterly, there's no right and wrong. I'm just and if it's wrong, I don't like it, then I will just Paint over it. Uh, right, Ellie for Dreams says company coming soon. Um, I must leave for now. Thanks, Tanya. Thank you for coming. I hope that you've um, had some fun and I will see you the next time. Take care. Thank you. So, oops, there we go. We're kind of getting there. And these shadows here are a little bit thinner. Like so. Um, and then I'm going to go in, maybe even add a little bit of red to kind of pinken it up a little bit. And then I'm going to just do that. And now I'm going to start 
establishing the actual light parts. Uh, now it's going to be slightly lighter up here and it's certainly a lot lighter in this area and I can see it lighter here. And then further down, it's not quite as light. And I'm really really just not paying that much attention to the detail. But I am trying to to get an indication of it. Um, in fact, those really needed to be up and down that way a bit more. Um, there we go. Kind of almost there. There we go. As I say, it's not meant to be realistic. It's it's just a bit of an expressionist painting that I'm doing. Um, I'm going to get loads of white and a little bit of yellow into my flesh colour. And I'm going to kind of start to put in these parts, the spokes. Now they're not that far apart, but whoops. Again, we're we're talking impressionistic. We're just having fun. We're getting out of our comfort zone. We are not making we're not making realistic. We're not um you know, we're not trying to be something that we're not. I certainly know Michelangelo. But I am Tania from Tartan Taz Creates. This is my, it's my painting. And so I'm going to do that however I want to do it. So could probably do with lightning. Um, maybe there. There we go. 
just to give that impression. Of spokes. I mean, I can already see that there's um, things not quite right with the, um, like here, for example. So I can already see that that's maybe could do with a bit of a change. So that kind of re-establishes it being a little bit more like it's actually a real object than, oops, uh, there we go. There we go. That's a little bit, there we go. Kind of starting to get there. Right. Now, I am going to, I probably shouldn't, but I'm going to change uh, to the smaller size now. Um, how is everybody doing? Huh. Rachel, that is an absolute fantastic idea. Rachel has um, just suggested that I use the paper and make the fan 3D. How cool an idea is that? You can tell she's my daughter, eh? Uh, Chrissy says your fan lines change direction on the, the, the right. Um, which right? My right, their right? Uh, right. Oops. That's, um, oh, right. So that's probably... I think one of the problems is I'm actually too close to this canvas, which doesn't help, but I don't care. This really is just a very quick loose and almost abstract piece, to be honest. Oh. Did you notice I'm not, I'm not up here on the brush. I'm not getting in and doing the, the tiny details. I'm actually back here. Um, because that's now this bit here is a little bit lighter I notice on the um, photograph um, and this bit here is going to be a bit darker and here is reasonably dark as well. Um, right, just making sure that I've got all the, the white bits. Definitely, this part here is definitely lighter. Probably needs to be a bit pinker than that as well, but 
We won't worry about that just yet. And I'm going to think about um, the eyes. Right, so I've kind of done more of a, a blue grey kind of That's way too big, but it's fine because I will sort it at a later date. A later date, a later time. Um, but essentially, that is kind of where the eyes are. And I'm just... using the, the pin that I've already got on my brush just to to fill in some of the bits there because it is dark and I will be going over it. Absolutely fine. Oh, sorry, I just caught it again. Um, Mona says, I love abstract. My goal is to be able to paint loose. I'm too tight with my painting and I hate it. Um, yeah, it's um, it can be very fun and liberating to, to get a bit looser. Um, and you can see that, you know, there are things that I'm kind of doing here that is really it's not accurate you know what I mean it's not accurate it's not um by any stretch of the imagination um realistic and that is okay we do not always have to be that realistic and I think sometimes it's it's really more our hang-ups than it actually being rubbish. Um, I'm going to bring this forward to the camera a little bit um, and let you see. Now, do you see? You know, that's it's messy. It's it's not established at all, rendered in any way, shape, or form realistically. And I'm having loads of fun doing this. Um, you know, once upon a time, I would have probably completely freaked out um, by the idea of letting you guys see um, how messy um, my painting can be. Um, because doing this live really shows the, the vulnerabilities. Um, you know, it's uh, it's not... It's not for the faint hearted, um, but I just wanted to, to be able to show you. That it's okay. To just let loose. It really is. It is perfectly okay to let loose. There's no reason why we can't just do what we need to do. 
in terms of you know, establishing, oops, that's a bit too light actually, believe it or not, that needs to be, uh, that's still not right. Um, okay. Really need it to be a bit. Ah, oh, right. So, re establishing that darkness there um, and up over the eye. There we go. Um, and now I can do a bit more flesh color again. Just watching um, the messages now. Chrissy says uh, that the hair looks cool as it is. You suit it silvery white. Yeah, I do like it like that, actually. Um, I'm just um, going in a little bit with... more kind of fleshy tones just above here um maybe a little bit of red again just to kind of Establish some variations. Um, and I think I will keep it. Um, I think I will keep it the kind of sort of silvery grey, but I will. Um, just kind of rather than it be stuck quite at the back, I will actually add some, there we go. I'll actually add the paint. So just establishing that it's not just bare canvas. So there we go. Um, it's kind of darker there. And notice, as I said, you know, this is my brush I'm holding back here. I'm not there we go. Not messing about. I'm not trying to be delicate. I'm just Slapping it on. Yeah. Um, right. 
Uh, I've noticed that the eye here is just a little bit of a strange shape. Um, and it is really quite dark in here and here. That's probably a bit too dark, but we can always, always change it if we need to. There. There we go. There. Um, there's definitely, just in here, there's definitely a much darker area there. Um, but then there's also this really light streak there that kind of goes down that way too. Um, so there we go. I'm thinking that I'm liking that face at the minute. Um, definitely looks like I'm looking up at something, just adding in a bit of a, a reflection. Um, I think the eye needs to, there we go. Yep, liking that. Okay, any questions? Um, oh, is it almost half past? Of course it is almost half past six. I'm so sorry, Mona. If you need to go, Mona, you need to go. Um, there's nothing that you can do about it. Right. The only thing that I really want to re-establish is probably the hand and maybe this cheek a little bit here. Um, because it's it's just um here we go there we go To be honest, um, I'm quite happy to leave it at that. Um, unless people are desperate to see me um, do the hands and then that lets Mona get away and not feel guilty. <laughs> Although you don't need to feel guilty at all, Mona. You really don't. You are an absolute star, Mona, and I love you to bits. So thank you very much. Um, so Angie says it's great the way it is. Chrissy says it's fabulous. Um, and so does Mona. <laughs> so I hope you have really kind of learned about just letting go. Um, I'm just going to um, put everything down actually and I'm going to put the camera back 
um, and get the... Um, so anybody who gets dizzy, look away now because I'm going to move the camera. I'm just putting the camera back. There. And we have to move this out of the way to get the chair back. Ah. Crash bang wallop. Sorry guys. Oh, there. Um so there's a distance. Um it really does make the difference. Um, whether you're looking at something close up or whether you're looking at it from a distance. You can see there, um, I mean, to be fair, in all honesty, I would probably mess about with the fan a little bit more because now that I'm stood back from it, I can see um, that the lines are not going in the right direction. Um, I, I would probably mess about with the fan a bit more if I'm totally honest. But other than that, um, I'm really liking the uh, I'm really liking the face. I'm actually really liking the face. Um, that is um, I'm quite impressed with the face. It's it's looking a lot better than I expected it to look from that photograph. Um, uh, Chrissy says the, your, our eyes are making up the hand. Don't need any more detail. Um, Angie says, I have vertical, I'm always dizzy. Oh, no, Angie, I'm so sorry that I would make that worse for you by moving the camera. Um, hi, Yasne. Hi there. Thanks for joining me. I'm afraid you've um, you've come at the end where I've actually, uh, if, oh, you can see in the, <laughs> you can see, look, <laughs> there's the, um, there's me. And you can see the delay. <laughs> So, yeah, I will probably, I'll probably take some time and um, re-establish the correct lines in that uh, fan. Um, some of them are reasonably okay, um, but it starts to kind of go wonky about there. Um, between there and there is is really needing to be re-established. Uh, these are these are not too bad, and this is not too bad. But here and here, that's where it kind of goes a bit wonky. But um, time restraints, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. So now that you have my full attention on the, um, oh, you're going to make your tea as well. Yeah, I'm going to be making my tea uh, very shortly too because um, uh, I'm hungry. Um, but uh, I just wanted to ask everybody, and thank you, Chrissy, for coming. Your uh, support is very much appreciated. Take care. Enjoy your tea. I just wanted to ask everybody if there was any questions um, that they wanted to ask uh, while I'm here. And I've actually, you've got my full attention for, for being able to um, read any of the comments. Um, uh, I, I know, Rachel, it's better for you if it's later. Um, but unfortunately, uh, today was a day that it was actually better for me uh, to go to go live sooner rather than later, unfortunately. I'm sorry. Um, <laughs> lots of love to you too, Chrissy. Any questions? Logan is constantly feeding, so missed it. Oh. You can always watch on the replay, Rachel, if you want. And um, because you're my daughter, um, Rachel's asking, are you using my idea? Um, I might. I actually just might. We'll see. We'll see. I might. 
That might be fun, actually. I can see how it looks. We can always see how it looks. No, I'm not so keen on that idea, though, Rachel, using the, the, the paper uh, as a hairband. Um, I like I like the idea of using it as a fan, though. Um, that's quite a fun idea. Uh, and it might actually... It might be a good way to cover up the fact that I have totally ruined the fan in the first instance. <laughs> Christine, hello, welcome. Just caught a moment to watch. I will watch on the re again on the replay. Oh, thank you, Christine. That is so nice of you. Lovely to see you. I hope you're well. I'm literally just about to go. Um, so I'm going to give out one last shout out and ask, are there any questions at all for me before I go. <laughs> That's all right, Rachel, don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. Now, um, remember everybody that um, if you're not already a member of the Creative Tartanite tribe, um, if you want to join, um, you can go to, I don't know, Rachel. Um, I, I'm i not sure, I uh, can't remember off the top of my head whether I'm actually off next week or if I'm working next week. Um, and it will really depend on... Um, and Madison is asking, how can you do such amazing paintings? Oh, thank you, Madison. Um, lots of practice. Just keep practicing. Just you do lovely paintings as well. I loved going live with you when you were here visiting, and you done such an amazing job of your portrait. Um, so you just keep. Um, Christine says, "Not sure how I unjoined, so I'm going to rejoin. Love the group." Oh, the <laughs> I. I'm so I, I so appreciate that, Christine. Um, thank you. Um, I don't know what happened either, but it's lovely that um, you didn't mean to unjoin. So fantastic. Um, Rachel says need to do live with her again. Yes, that would be fun. Um, that would be absolutely fun. Judy, hello, Judy. Hi. Welcome. Unfortunately, you've uh, joined us just as uh, I'm. I'm kind of wrapping up, um, and uh, my granddaughter has just asked a question. I've just um, just answered. Uh, Christine says, "My silly fingers and my purse uh, does crazy things with my phone." Uh, yet yeah, tell us about it. I think we've all done um, the you know the the dial somebody that we didn't mean to dial and and uh, delete something that we didn't mean to delete. Um, I've been there, done that, um, uh, and I'm sure it won't be the last time. So um, I will be um, glad to see you back, Christine, because um, the, the, the group is, <coughs> excuse me, <coughs> the group is um, missing you. Rachel says she needs to get Madison to brownies. Have fun at brownies, Madison. You take care. Bye. Right. Um, I think I've caught all the questions. Um, Angie's saying that there's no questions. Have a lovely evening. Thank you, Angie. Thank you, everybody. I really do appreciate you coming to watch and support me. Um, and uh, thank you for putting up with my... Uh, ramblings and everything else that's going on as I said at the beginning uh, this is the first time I've painted in such a long time and to, to be able to just comfortably throw paint on the canvas or the paper knowing that you guys are supporting me uh, is 
it's priceless. I can't put a price on that. So thank you, everybody. Uh, and I hope that um, it has allowed other people to think, well, if she can do it, then maybe I can do it. And it's OK to end up with something that looks just a little bit off um, because I can change that. That's that's not an issue. That that it really isn't an issue. Um, and for some, some would be quite happy to leave it like that um, because that's pack and parcel of the painting. Um, Christine says, it's such a joy to see your videos. Thank you for being on YouTube. Oh, you're very welcome, Christine. Um, I really enjoy um, sharing things uh, with everybody. Um, Jeanette says, have a nice weekend. Hi from Denmark. Hi, Denmark. <laughs> Hello from Scotland. Welcome. Uh, unfortunately, I'm now saying goodbye, uh, but um, I hope everybody is uh, well and they are looking after their mental health because the chances are nobody's going to be doing it for you. Um, take care. Lots of love to you all and creative sparkles. You guys are all, every single one of you, you're all amazing creative tartanites. And don't forget that and don't let anybody tell you different. Helen says, I enjoyed this too. Nice way to unwind after a busy week. Oh, that's so nice. Thank you, Helen. Thank you. So hugs, everybody. Take care. Bye. See you all again soon. <laughs>